Rex forever do it. Lost fur. The thing about our bumps and bruises is we play Friday, man. Then we gotta play Monday, then we gotta play Friday again. We'll have a two game slot. enjoy watching these kids grow especially from years ago to now and just we've got kids like one fine example like Bryce Ingram where years ago we're like oh my goodness look at this kid and now he has just become a true role model to everyone and, and, and a great kid so that's the best part is you see their growth academically you see their growth mentally you see them become these young men and um, and I'm hard on them, don't get me wrong, I'm hard on them, but they know at the end of the day that it's it's really, truly unconditional love. Tanner Engel, um, number one, I play safety, corner, return man, a little bit of offense, so you know I play a little bit of everything. I messed my knee up. Uh, I ain't know it was torn though, so. Like two months go by, we, I've been playing on my knee. And like we started, so we started coming back into fall camp. So fall camp started, I'm playing, and the trainer seen my knee was swollen, so she told me to go get it checked out. Turned out I had a torn meniscus, so I had surgery that Monday. Tanner is what you want to call a beast. Does it all. <laughs> I've never been around a player that just to no matter what, he's going to do it with full passion. He's one of the only players that, that's come through the program that has started on varsity for four years. So, you know, you get a program like us, nine times out of ten, a guy don't really step up or get that opportunity to to get into that limelight or be ready until their junior year. He came in as a freshman. You know, I talked to the guys who were ranked number one in the Super 16, ranked number one in Central Florida, uh, ranked number one in 8A uh, football. And, and the guys, you know, started to relax a little bit. And, you know, as a coaching staff, the only, you can only just talk to them, and they're all teenagers, um, about just staying humble and doing what you did continue to grind to get to you know the number one team but once they got there you can see some complacency you can see some the effort you know go down and the passion and intensity go down so we go to the Cava um, on Thursday night a tough team one of the top defenses in Central Florida and we lose that game so um, and I think it's a good thing you know for the team it's good to lose early before you get to the playoffs with Cava you know, showed us some weaknesses that we have, that some things we got to work on. And uh, we'll work on those things and, and we'll definitely get better. Uh, we don't have much time. We got two days to prepare for, you know, for another, you know, one of the most explosive teams in the state, if not the country, in Apopka. So we play Apopka on, on Monday night. I'm a pocket passer that can be a dual threat, as in, I can throw the ball, but when needed, I will run the ball. So say, if I'm scrambling, I'm looking first to throw the ball, but if running's there, I'm going to run it. So that's how I feel. That's how I label myself as. But if we have to win the game with me running the ball, I can run the ball all game. If we have to win with me throwing the ball, I'll throw it all game. So I really feel like I'm, I can do either, but what's best for the team is what's best for the team.
If you think Polly gonna get you a college scholarship, them coaches gonna turn around and go to the next man. They just want to see you play football. 60 solid minutes of nothing but unadulterated scunion football. Helmets. Don't worry about the guy in front of you. Rip him under. If he gets a hold of you, just keep driving to that hole. The ball is going to come to you. Trust me. If not, you'll pass through and you'll be right behind the running back. Okay? Got Start. Swim. Play for a purpose. Play with a passion. And that's what we did tonight. Now all we got to do is make sure, Quinn, I know it burns. I like the tears. I like what I see, d but Just make sure your fire is contagious. Make sure your positive fire spread amongst the team. Make sure we hold everybody accountable. Make sure we understand that everything matters. Every lift, every film session, every practice, every sprint, everything we do has a reason and has a purpose. We feel bad right now. But the thing about it is not one of our goals is out of track. We still don't win the district. We still gonna have home field event in the playoffs. At least one or two games. And we still gonna go 5-0 in the playoffs. Coach is game time. We can't get quiet. Boy, it's game time. We gonna start a ride.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, your 2017 Dr. Phillips High School homecoming king, Tanner Ingram. Y'all haven't put your foot on their necks yet. You ain't bent their backs yet. They waiting on you to bend their backs. They should even be on the same field with you right now. You allowing them to compete. It shouldn't be no question. They should be ready to say, Coach, I give up and I give in. Dr. Phillips is way too much for me right now. But O-line, you ain't showed me nothing. Running backs can't do their thug thizzle right now. You ain't showed me nothing. Ready? Yeah! Y'all boys ain't ready. Shit! Y'all boys ready? Yeah! Y'all boys ain't ready. Shit! Y'all boys ready? Yeah! Y'all boys ain't ready. Shit! Y'all boys ready? Yeah! I got two big big boys, baby. Y'all boys ready? Yeah! Let's go to work. Phillips alumni, the third Dr. Phillips alumni, and um, Adam Sitter, um, and he's another one. He's just kind of like the glue to the offense. He keeps the guys up front. Uh, we never have the biggest offensive line. People always look at us, and you know the defensive linemen are always two or three inches taller, probably 40 pounds bigger. But we always are, you know, more physical and more technical than the defenses, um, and we get away with a lot of things with smaller offensive linemen. And that's only because of what Coach Sitter does. He's up here on Saturday with the guys. He's prepping on Sunday. Uh, he takes the guys out. Uh, they just love their great group. You know, the Hogs do a great job, and they kind of let us go and let us do the things that, you know, we do. Yeah, watch. You actually come get some work in? Oh, you're not special. I talk to the kids. It, it, when you have a good product and, and you do everything, you know, with grace and dignity and class, uh, people want to be a part of it. So, uh, we, you know, we're blessed with Nike, blessed with Gatorade, blessed to have Universal as a part of our program. You know, people like Jersey Mike's. Got a lot of people, you know, very, very you know, supportive of the boys and of the team. Uh, I always talk to the boys. Uh, there's a lot of programs, you know, 
around that anybody can play in, you know, a lot of programs. Anybody can't play for in Dr. Phillips. We just a big family on the team, so um, it's just a brotherhood. We always just hold each one accountable and just work hard together um, in the weight room, film, anything like. We just <laughs> One goal, all right, one heartbeat. We got one thing to do. We've done everything else except go 5-0 in the playoffs. That's what we're prepared for right now. It ain't about Cypress Creek. I don't care about it. It's not about Timber Creek. What we do, we want 10 district champs in a, in, in a row. What we got on our hand to show for it? Nothing. So, Valance, all y'all seniors, Neil, you saw it. You witnessed it. You was there. You were a sophomore. You were a junior. And that's why I bring all these young guys up so they, they can witness it. And hopefully, all right, Jalen and Jackson, Older, Cannon, hopefully y'all not witnessing, Pop, something that you can say, oh, we ain't going to be like them. Hopefully you witnessing, we're going to be just like them. We're going to go back to back. That's what I hope you would. But it's only up to the seniors and the leaders of this team. All right? Be who you're supposed to be. If you're supposed to be great, be great. All right? It ain't a whole lot of track in the lane of greatness. That's on one of the billboards. Cam, the lane of greatness, there ain't a whole lot of cars on that. Average. Is filled it's like I four. The average lane is filled, bumper to bumper. You ain't moving. But then you bounce over there to the great lane. It's a few cars. Yeah. Probably once an hour. Yeah. Cause it's hard, can't it? It is hard to be great. It ain't easy. But we talk about them guys on the wall all the time. They the ones that were denied that I ain't going to the party. I got to go study. No, I ain't got all night on Friday night. I got to get up Saturday morning after the game. I got to meet Coach Jones. I got to go speed training. No, I can't go eat wings right now. I got to go get this hold in. That's how they on the wall. And we got somebody else that's going to be on the wall next to them. I don't know who it is. They in here. They in this room right now. the halls of Dr. Phillips High School, it gives me the feeling of security, it gives me the feeling of love, I have joy, and it's nothing like being a panther. Once a panther, always a panther. In high school, I was a panther. Blue and white was my color in high school, so here I am. So again, always a panther. Once you get in here, you never want to leave. When you leave, you want to come back. I have teachers now that see me out in the grocery stores and they say, I want to come back home. I want to come back home. I say, well, you know, sometimes you think the grass is green on the other side, but you never know what you're going to miss until you leave it. Panthers, just know that my years here, my 30 years here have been nothing but joy, peace, love, and happiness. And as I step out, in my next adventure of my life. I wish you all the very best, and I'm gonna miss you more than you'll ever know. I said I can't, can't come in.
Too hot. 